Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading for July 2023. We're going to see what's going on for you guys this month, so take what resonates. Leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, your rising sign. So we have let it go. The situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so you can embrace the future. And then we have uh, be the real you. We are <laughs> your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self. Okay. So obviously you could be letting go of some things here. I feel like it's so that you can just really embrace more of the things that bring you joy. <clears throat> you may just also feel like the situation you're letting go of just like it's just not giving you enough um so you might feel very kind of like limited with where you're at and wanting to make some sort of change or s some sort of growth here let's see what's going on here for you pisces let's see look at this ace of wands i've had aces coming out everywhere today we also have the Three of Swords, Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Wow, that row is... <laughs> I wish we could get that row in every every reading. We have the uh, Five of Wands here, the Two of Wands, Six of Wands. I like this. Crossing the energy, we have the Two of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacle energy here. And we have the Three of Wands. So I do feel like you, I feel like you're trying to manifest something. I feel like you're trying to create something with the Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands here. I feel like you're um, almost like waiting for something to take off. I feel like you, hmm, like there is action being taken, but it's kind of slow. Like it's not it's not like things are just taken off really super quick. You could have a lot on your plate with this two of pentacles, ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles. Your money looks good. It looks balanced. It looks like you've got potentially some new opportunities here. I feel like if you've been struggling, then that's going to be getting better here with this two of wands, six of wands. Okay, so success, victory after a battle, right? So you're, you're coming out of the out of the woodwork here like some of you could have had some challenges here when it comes to maybe something creatively or even just something financially that you have struggled and it could it could just even be like disappointed with how things have like kind of played out um but there's a lot of potential ace of pentacles ten of pentacles like you could be working on something here that you see long term in your future um Again, it kind of feels like maybe there's some slower progress here. Not that you're not making any progress because I do see progress. I just feel like there's maybe not a whole lot of like crazy action being taken. Let's see what this Ace of Wands is for you. Pisces. Look at that, Wheel of Fortune. I've been getting Wheel of Fortune a lot as well. There's a lot of faded changes. I know the North Node is changing this month. Um, so you could be changing how you're doing something. I also feel for some of you, because we also have the sun at the bottom. Some of you are stepping more into your authenticity when it comes to like what you're doing, being more yourself, not trying to copy other people. Not that you were copying people, but not trying to be like other people, like just being you. And so you could be coming out with something new or starting something new. Um, but I feel like it's more about letting your true expression shine rather than it being new altogether. Like your energy around it might be different. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? If you've been hurt emotionally, I see you recovering from that, especially with the, yeah, the Knight of Cups. And look at that, we got the Fool and the Knight of Cups. So I feel like you're starting a new chapter when it comes to your heart space. Yeah, we have the Magician here, also the Tower. I feel like you've already had this like disappointment. Okay, I just feel like this is you healing and moving forward. Um, some of you could be looking for new love, right? And like letting go of a past. Why the Knight of Cups? Why the Knight of Cups for Pisces? Yeah, Two of Cups. I just feel like you're ready to connect 
more with something or just again you're letting go of something and you're well, willing willing and ready to step into the new the newer thing right four of swords you've done the healing work you're ready for this next chapter in your life you're ready for this next phase and this doesn't have to be just romantic like it definitely could be there could be a new a new spark that comes in here for you this month but I also feel like there's a lot of career-based energies here money that sort of thing like you've definitely healed something and you, like when we heal the heart space we open ourselves up to receive more in any capacity abundance love relationships right why is this ace of pentacles here for pisces why is this ace of pentacles here we have the knight of wands why the two of pentacles with the ten of pentacles why the two of pentacles with the ten of pentacles with the strength i feel like a lot of you like you might have a lot going on like yeah seven of pentacles like um some of you are pursuing passion projects uh, you're f feeling maybe very motivated to start new things but i also feel like you could get to this place where you have a lot of things on the go and that could be overwhelming and you might have to pick and choose what you're putting your time and your energy into um so i think it's just being smarter with your time and also making sure that you have time to recharge why the nine of pentacles because i do feel like you're pursuing new things um and a lot of you that could be like creative things or they could be like work opportunities career opportunities why the nine of pentacles they're the high priest which is the hierophant king of swords yeah, I feel like you're just very committed to your goals at this time. I feel like you could be also investing a lot of time into yourself. You also have a lot of confidence and a lot of belief in self right now as well. Like you might be feeling really confident. Um, some of you might have Leo in your chart. Um, and this, I mean, if you're a Leo son, it could be your birthday possibly, but... Why the high priest nine of pentacles yeah lovers like i feel like you're connecting with your spiritual um team we do have the four of wands as well at the bottom i also feel like some of you could be balancing out like work and relationships as well i think this actually came through in the leo reading like really trying to navigate your home life and your work life especially if you've got lots of things going on but i feel you i feel like you're very driven when it comes to something financially here or uh really driven when it comes to something like creatively some of you also to your financial situation could be changing if you're getting married or moving in with someone but there's again there's just like this juggling this balancing if you have leo in your chart i would definitely watch that reading why the five of wands for pisces why the five of wands for pisces we have the devil which is the shadow side in this deck we also have the five of swords so yeah i feel like you've maybe struggled with just blockages challenges maybe addictions or patterns um repetitive patterns that you've found yourself in like you've maybe struggled to get yourself out of some sort of cycle here or pattern but i feel like you're getting yourself out with the two wands six of wands like you're overcoming these things they could be very minor things i'm getting with the five of wands why the two of wands <clears throat> yeah temperance nine of pentacles like you're more at peace i feel like your finances are like improving somehow or like you're just feeling very stable financially this month you're just feeling good about it you're you've got everything balanced you're getting everything paid for you might have a little extra like for some reason this might be a higher paying month for some of you for some reason why this six of wands high priestess and then we have the eight of wands yeah like there's positive changes and the empress i almost feel like you're receiving 
like compliments or you're receiving like a job well done, congrats. Like you could have definitely overcome some obstacle or some challenge here that you've been working through and I see you like people seeing that in you. I also feel as well because you're stepping into this like more authentic version of yourself or just feeling more in alignment with you and your own energy, you're going to be attracting more people, more attention. Give me one more with this five of wands and the shadow side. Give me one more with this five of wands and the shadow side. Yeah, the sun, like brand new day. I feel like you've healed and worked through this. So I do see you overcoming like obstacles or challenges or patterns that have been hold, held you back for a long time. And I think you're going to feel a lot more free. You've healed, done a lot of healing work. And I think you're pursuing new passions, pursuing new projects, um, new money making ideas, new relationships, right? Like however this applies, you're, you're finally, it's like you just feel like things are kind of starting to come together here in a more aligned way for yourself. But there is a kind of a balancing and needing to make sure that you're uh, taking the time you need to work through things here. So your advice, we have the hanged one. We have the fool. I heard, <laughs> this isn't the saying, it's walk, don't run, but I heard walk, don't jump. And then we have the seven of wands. We have the magician here. Again, I feel like you are manifesting, yeah, especially with the high priestess and the temperance. Very connected, very much manifesting and bringing things into your reality. I just feel like your advice here is to pause and um, make sure it's a calculated risk, right? Don't make any big risky wild decisions especially if you're dealing with finances and stuff like making sure that you're not doing anything wild and crazy with your finances and being smart about things you know look at things from all different angles before really making a move here and if you're feeling resistant to moving into a new direction like think look at things from a different perspective there might be something that you're not seeing about the situation or like I, again i'm just getting like look at things from all angles before you do or don't jump so just take your time to process and navigate and walk through these things. I do feel like there are things that you're healing from and things that are changing in your life. There's a, a strong thing around like habits for sure. Um, but I also feel like there's a lot of passion and creativity that's being sparked this month for you as well. Like you might feel very creative or motivated to try new things. Um, and I think it's just like you're feeling lighter. You're feeling more you. Um, so you f have more energy and, and, you know, you're in a higher vibration, which is helping you stay motivated to move towards new things or just things that light you up, right? So that is what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of your other signs. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.